Hey everybody, it's Yackleberry. And uh, we're supposed to get stormed on pretty good tonight. And so I wanted to test out this monsoon uh, tarp that I got. And so I've got it set up here. And I know it's difficult to see. I'm trying to get where the light gets it. And I know it's difficult to see because it's about, I don't know, probably coming up on 6. And it's, I think it gets dark about 6.30 and stuff. So, But anyways, I went ahead and set all this up. And I uh, got my blast doors on it. Let me, let me turn you around so you can see. I got my blast doors on the outside here, uh, which kind of Velcro, Velcro uh, in between here. So it Velcros and, and uh, goes on down. It has eight tie outs, uh, which are all shock cord, but it also has, uh, I don't know what you call it, ecstatic cord, the kind that doesn't stretch. Um, I got my snake skins, which I'm going to pull over the top of that on each side. I believe that the uh, little toggle hook up here and plus this little drip ring I believe that those will both uh, be enough to keep the uh, rain from traveling down my my line so uh, at least that's the thought anyway but we'll go ahead and keep it you know covered up as much as possible um, at least up to the toggle I think would be good because the toggle is not gonna do much good if you end up getting rained on this part of your cord then it's just gonna uh, come on down. So I'm thinking that this will probably have that covered. Uh, but anyway, here's the other side with the blast door and also tied out to the ground. This side's not going to give us, uh, you know, very ample uh, brightness and stuff. But again, these sides uh, end up Velcroing together. Um, I have the Hennessy Expedition ASIM zip. It's uh, a very common, very popular uh, type of the Hennessy's. It's a single bottom. Uh, but inside, which would be very almost impossible for me to show you now, uh, since it's getting dark, uh, the inside uh, has uh, a sh what we call a super shelter under it, which is uh, basically, let me see if I can angle up under here. Um, yeah, it's not really going to show us much. But anyways, it's basically like a tarp uh, that they have that wraps along the bottom uh, of the Hennessy hammock. And, but inside there, uh, it has a snug pack. Inside it has a, a, a snug pack uh, under quilt. Uh, just a, it's kind of like a cheap brand one, but 50 bucks and stuff. But And I don't really know what the rating is, but I think for uh, what I have here, it'll be fine, especially sitting inside the super shelter, which will hold in a lot of heat. Uh, I wish I could show you the super shelter, but again, there's not enough light, and I'd have to take the monsoon tarp um, back off. Uh, when I did buy my Hennessy, I got this monsoon tarp for a, a cheap price. Uh, I basically ended up putting it in replacement of the standard tarp that came uh, because I was getting a hex, a hex hex tarp that came with the Hennessy for free. Anyways, it's kind of hard to, to, to explain to you, but anyways, I got a great deal, so I thought this would be a great package to have, but I haven't got a chance to really try it out. Um, but it's supposed to storm uh, probably a little harder uh, than what it needs to. But, uh, in fairness, uh, I'm up under two big trees, so I got a big or a, a medium-sized tree here, and then I also have a medium-sized tree here. Uh, they're both still having uh, quite a bit of foliage on it, a lot of leaves, so uh, that, that's going to protect me a little bit, and that's okay because it, it said that there might be hail, and um, you know, I, you know, obviously you don't you know by plans to, to hammock camp in that, so I'm just going under the uh, pretend that uh, we're getting caught out in it. You know, where maybe you're through hiking something, or it's one of those sneaky deals where it pops up uh, and ends up getting us hammered. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to try to film it as best I can. There's not going to be a whole lot of light, uh, probably except for the lightning, assuming the storms even come. Uh, in here in Missouri, they can call for one thing and something completely uh, different can happen. Uh, but anyways, back to the super shelter. It does clip onto the Hennessy uh, as, as, any, as your normal tarp would. Uh, so you can adjust it and tighten it, of course, by uh, pulling that little uh, prussic type uh, on up the rope. So we're going to get that snakeskin pulled over and uh, have him up here. But we're going to go ahead and try to cover uh, as much as I can and, and then let the toggle do its work. Um, I have heard that uh, rain can jump uh, over these toggles and stuff. I hope that's not the case. Um, but basically we're just going to see how it goes. And, you know, if I make some mistakes, then I'll... Uh, um, basically have to pay for it a little bit, but uh, the storm's supposed to bring in a significant cold front uh, So and that's why I put the underquilt under there and um, 
I am using my straps, uh, my light speed straps that I got a pretty good deal on at Amazon. I think they normally sell about 25 and I think I got them for 15 bucks, so it's pretty cool. But here's how I got it hooked up. There's a light speed strap, a nice strong strap, has a little buckle uh, type of uh, right here where it kind of clamps it down, keeps it from moving. The night course tie, another little knot on it. Uh, and then it connects with some AM steel. And I have it connected like this uh, onto my Hennessy uh, because I still have a warranty. Uh, on my Hennessy and I don't want to cut my ropes because if you cut your ropes uh, that voids your warranty and so I got all this slack and stuff which is fine maybe you can uh, act as a little bit of a, a drip a drip uh, line as well but um, so I got my M steel up under there it's on the knot and it's not on the toggle uh, this toggle just came off those little foam paint brushes that you may see in store so if you're looking for some toggle or something just get like your uh, you know your foam brushes maybe at Walmart and you can kind of see on this end uh, or maybe not so much but you can see where the hole was where the actual t uh, brush was in there so pretty inexpensive we'll see if it holds I've sat in it, it seemed to hold alright but uh, so let me stop there and um, we're gonna wait for the storm basically to come um, you probably can't see it on the on the camera and stuff it's, it's kind of leading there a little bit but uh, It'll probably come, and if uh, you know, if it gets to be too wild, then of course I'm I'm close to the house here, and I can just I can just run up in here, uh, no problem. If I get scared, I can do a little little sissy run back into my house, and so that's what I'll do. So, anyways, we'll wait for the storm to come, uh, and then we'll uh, then if, if 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 it gets too too extreme, we'll go inside. If it's all right, we'll hang out in here a couple hours. Um, I don't intend to sleep overnight. Um, I basically just intend on uh, testing the. Old uh, uh, monsoon tarp out. So we'll see what happens, I guess. All right, guys, so here's how it goes it's about uh, 15 till 10. Uh, the rain held off quite a bit longer than I was thinking tonight, but uh, it's starting to pick up a little bit. Oh, that's bright. Starting to pick up a little bit, and uh, so decided to come on out here. And uh, sit in the hammock for a little bit, and uh, um, you just kind of saw what it looked like uh, on the weather radar and stuff. We got a nice red line coming, uh, so it should get pretty, pretty dicey uh, there for a little bit, and then uh, you know probably smooth on out to some, to some um, just some regular rain and stuff. But you know, in case uh, tornadoes come or something like that, I'm just mere feet from the house. Uh, I'll hear the sirens or Jesse's inside kind of, uh, you know, she keep an eye on it too. So the wife's definitely keeping an ear out for me, uh, out the window and stuff, and and I'm sure she'll have the radar pulled up too and kind of uh, check to see if there's any uh, tornadoes or anything. I will go ahead and tell you that one of the first things I notice, uh, you know, since I've been laying out here is the wind's been whipping, you know, it's been picking up and, and blowing gusting pretty hard, and of course it's been pushing the the tarp against me and I've got all the shock cord. I got like 10 lines um, with shock cord uh, that are attached to the ground with this monsoon. But uh, one of the things I can tell you is that it's blowing really hard but there's very little air actually getting in here. So it's actually pretty warm but it's, it's fairly warm outside. It's, it's about 77 degrees. But uh, according to the weather it's supposed to drop down to like 60, 66 or something like that within a matter of minutes. So it's, it's bringing in a cold front. But uh, one thing I know is just I'm not feeling, I mean, I'm feeling some air come through. Obviously, there's some air getting through. And even on the blast doors, they're kind of at a V at top, so it still lets air through. But like with this big gust of wind, I don't think you can probably hear that and stuff, but uh, it's doing a pretty good job of keeping it off me. And I even have my, my feet are bare uh, down here so that uh, I got the old feet bare so I can actually feel... Uh, you know, in pretty good sense of area to be able to tell if wind's coming through uh, that bottom part there. So now I do have that. I do have the uh, under blanket on and stuff. So it's gonna. It's obviously feels pretty cool right now. And even with that wind whip, and I don't feel it stealing any air. Got the under blanket, and of course got the super shelter cover on. So, uh, but no rain yet. All right. So what you guys are looking at here is if I can get it aimed right. Is the blast doors. So I'm hanging out the right side of my hammock. And right there is the blast door. There's the top of the hammock up there, and then you got a blast door coming down. So, let's see if we can look at it better over here. And here we got a blast door right on me. The top of the hammock's going up. The blast door comes all the way down here. 
And of course there's the ground, so. Looks like my line is very slack right there. Very, very slack. These don't appear to be too slack. That looks pretty good. And this one over here should be pretty good. So they're definitely holding up slack a little bit, but this guy not so much. So I just got this severe T-storm warning text. Something we get sent to our phone when there's a, you know, obviously a warning or a tornado or something like that, so. The rain has certainly started. And I anticipate it's going to be pouring here in a second. About 11 o'clock. So I've been out here for about an hour. Maybe a little bit longer than an hour, just sitting, waiting. There it comes. You see that this is getting pushed in on me. Let's see if we can shine up on it. It's just trickling a little bit right now, though. Just a little sprinkle. She's raining now, baby. She's raining. It's a strange thing because it's raining hardcore and for some reason it makes the highway noise much, much louder. Of course, you can't hear it through this, but I can. But thunder all around me. I think I might saw some lightning in the distance. Not lightning strikes, but like uh, upper cloud lightning type of stuff. Uh, nothing to cause too much alarm. This can honestly almost put me in sleep. Good. So I can wake down here for an hour and a half or whatever. Uh, about 11.30. A lot of rain. Distant lightning. It's some pretty strong, th you know, thunder at times. Other than that, just a rainstorm so far. Um, the, the red part has passed me. Uh, surprisingly, it seemed very... Almost disappointing uh, if I can say that I mean had a little bit of lightning in the distance and stuff and some thunder and some rain but honestly nothing to it um, so you know um, I don't feel like anything's gotten wet which is which is great um, I'm checking with my feet down there and then you know checking with my hands up top I don't necessarily feel like anything got wet which is great but um, I'm not gonna sit out here all night which was never my intention but uh, we got through the first big wave, and the rest of it's like uh, just green, maybe a light bit of yellow with some spotty red in it stuff. So the first one was a nice big red wall, and uh, but that already went past us. So the strange thing is that uh, <laughs> must have got the wind from it way early. I was why it was so windy, and then um, the rain hit. But the wind, the wind left, the rain hit. It's just been kind of trickling ever since stuff. But anyone, anyways, I guess as far as as that goes, monsoon tarp um, for this test did, I'd say, pretty good, especially with um, keeping the wind down, <clears throat> which I think was <clears throat> part of what it's supposed to do is you know to keep the rain obviously out with the blast doors. But also to keep the wind out. Um, so if it's a cold night, it may not be raining. But if it's cold, you could put this up and put the blast doors on. And, and any wind, it could cut, you know, help block the wind from, from nailing it and help to keep it a little bit more uh, warm as well. But again, I did, I did notice the uh, temperature drop. And so then I went to put on, put my uh, you know, top coat on. Everything was fine and stuff. So anyways... For some reason, I'm hungry as I can get, boys. About midnight, I guess I eat about five, so I'm hungry. But uh, there's always leftover pizza, right? So, anyways, this little test has been kind of fun. I have to admit, I'm a little disappointing. I thought there was going to be a little bit more action to it. Not like I wanted tree limbs to drop or anything like that, but um, it was pretty light. And uh, I think it's just going to rain from here on for the most part. So far, a success. I'm going to count as a success. I feel no wet spots. It's been raining enough for me. I think that it would be draining down down here considerably, so but, uh, there's a little thunder, so we're gonna get a little thunder here and there, but uh, calling it good. So we'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.